Cubans called their beloved sport simply la pelota. The ball. Baseball, that is. Here, baseball is not just the national pastime, it's the island's grand obsession. But lately, a different sport is making inroads in Cuba. The first sport I played as a boy was baseball, he says, but then I switched to football because it's more dynamic and involves more teamwork. Cuba isn't competing in this year's World Cup. Actually, the last time Cuba qualified for football's premier tournament was way, way back in 1938. Football in Cuba had all but died out. In fact, in 1962, one of the first clues that Soviets had secretly placed nuclear missiles here were U.S. spy plane photographs that showed the construction of football fields across the island. The CIA deduced they must have been put there by Russian troops since Cubans didn't play the game. But now, more than ever, football fever is sweeping Cuba. The government is showing all the games on state TV. Matches are also being screened at movie theaters for about 10 cents a ticket. Cuban officials used to discourage the display of flags of other countries. But now the banners of Brazil, Germany, even the United States are everywhere. For years, Eric Hernandez has labored to inspire football mania in his fellow Cubans through his ability to juggle the ball for hours. He says many Cubans may be new to football, but the game has a great future on the island. Cuban players are tireless on the field, he says. They don't have good control of the ball, but our physical training is helping us to overcome our technical deficiencies. Cuba's football craze may be the result of barriers slowly being lowered and a greater interaction of a once isolated nation with the outside world. Football has changed the world, he says. Here in Cuba before, there wasn't a tradition of football. We play baseball and volleyball, but football fever is sweeping the world, and we came down with it here. And Cuban football fans may discover that their newfound addiction to the beautiful game has no cure. Patrick Ottman, CNN Havana.